All right, now proceeding on to the information gain calculation. So the information gain calculation with respect to one attribute A is given by entropy of S minus sigma over V belong to values of A. SV, which denotes the data set where value of A is equal to V, small v. The denominator we have S, which is all the data instances, entropy of SV. Again, value of A is equal to small v. So let's actually look at an example calculation to understand this better. Suppose, so we have on the left, we have the data. So we have the entire data. So let's select the attribute humidity and we want to calculate the information gain of the entire data set with respect to humidity. So now gain of S comma A or attribute that we want to calculate information gain for is equal to humidity. So now the first value is entropy of S. So we saw in the previous video we already calculated that and that comes out to be 0 0.940. So we substitute that and then minus for each value of different value of a v in a we have one term right this is a sigma over each value v belongs to values of a so what are the different values that humidity can take the humidity can take high or normal right two values so then we'll have two terms here for one for each value of a equal to humidity so we look at now go back to the data instances and we have we look at number of instances where humidity is high so that is d1 d2 d3 d4 d8 d12 and d14 so that is one two three four five six seven seven instances where humidity is equal to high so we have seven here and we have 14 which is the total number of instances times we have entropy of humidity equal to high so we're just going to substitute that we're going to calculate that in the next step so let's now move to the third term. The third term is when humidity is equal to normal. So because we have totally 14 instances and seven of them have humidity equal to high, the rest have humidity equal to normal. So we have another term where minus seven over 14 times entropy humidity equal to normal. So this is the first step in calculating information gain for attribute humidity. So now let's look at the next step. So we have entropy of humidity equal to high and entropy of humidity equal to normal that we have to still calculate. So now for calculating entropy of humidity equal to high, it's similar to how we calculated the entropy for the entire data so now for humidity equal to high we are going to isolate all the instances where humidity is high so we already know that there are only seven instances so we're going to isolate those seven instances so that is what you see here total number of instances are seven so only those instances so now on the left we have humidity equal to high d1 now let's look at d1 and see what the final outcome or the decision is plate ns so the plate ns value is no so entropy is always calculated with respect to what you are predicting what the class so the class here is no and yes so we want to count the number of yeses and nos uh, of plate ns in the subset of data where humidity is high so we are going to look at D1, D2, D3, D4, D8, D12, and D14. So all these instances where humidity is high. 
And for those instances, we are going to count the number of times blatantness is yes and no, respectively. So now let's see here. So we have, um, let's count the yeses first. So yes, we have D3 where blatantness is yes. D4 where blatantness is yes and humidity is high. And then D8, it's no, so we're not counting that. D12, it's yes. So we have three instances. Three instances, D13, D4, and D3, where blatantness is yes. So there are three instances where blatantness is yes out of the seven instances where humidity is high. And the rest of all instances, we have platonus equal to no, and that is given by the next term. So it's very simple for entropy, calculating entropy for humidity equal to high. We isolate the instances where humidity is high, and then calculate how many in those instances we have platonus equal to no, and platonus is equal to yes. That's how we get the entropy for humidity equal to high. Similarly, for calculating humidity equal to normal, so we have six, we should have six instances where humidity is normal and platonus is yes. So we have D5, D7, D9, D10, D11, and D13. All these have humidity equal normal and platonus equal to yes out of the remaining seven instances where humidity is normal. And we have one instance uh, that is D6 where humidity is normal and platonus is no. So now, to get the information gain, we substitute these values, calculate these values, and put them back in here and here to get our final information gain when the attribute is humidity.